everyone welcome to the stock market morning prep video for tuesday september 15th well, we're just kind of going sideways here waiting on what the uh, fed is going to do on the 17th if they're going to raise rates or they're not going to raise rates so we really have gone nowhere um a little bit of chop actually a lot of choppy trading the last um, last couple of weeks in front of you is the spy 60 minute chart and all of the indices that we follow which i'm showing you on a daily chart are pretty similar to this 60 minute chart. So we have a large symmetrical triangle and symmetrical triangles are continuation patterns. So what does that tell me is that if we are to, if this is going to break out, it should break out to the downside because we're continuing this pattern of lower lows and lower highs. So this to me looks like it would continue lower and we, if anything, we would test this low and then of course the August 24th low, okay? Um, there's a lot of catalyst that's involved here on which way the market's gonna go. Well, if the, if the Fed raises interest rates, the markets will generally, at least the knee-jerk reaction would be down. Uh, can this be priced in already? That's possible. Uh, so that's why we don't want to just uh, react to what the Fed is going to do, but it's really how the markets are going to react what the Fed does. Very, very important here, okay? So don't run in front of a freight train. Let the markets digest what's going on. But we are coming into the apex here, which that means that we have a coiling effect. We are now building pressure into this area, and either way, we're going to break out. Again, this is a continuation pattern, which tells me I'm leaning more to the downside. Um, I've mentioned to you before that we have a lot of uh, um, hints kind of pointing that we are headed lower. Uh, market has topped many times here, failed to break out higher, and um, so we just need to see which way this market is going to be, uh, um, at least what... We want the market to show its hand, basically, in a nutshell, before we start uh, putting on positions or at least getting ready to day trade. Now, we are coming into some important timing, which would be um, bearish, right? We're coming into some seasonal weakness in the marketplace where the markets now are, um, are, are in a really uh, volatile time of the year. September, October tends to be uh, really, really weak. So I am anticipating we're going to get a continuation lower and we will at least test these lows here, okay? So here's a 60 minute chart. Let me just show you, uh, here's a daily chart of the um, spiders. And as you can see here, again, just a um, symmetrical triangle. We're in into resistance here. And as you can see, we've only rallied really 50% of this retracement rally from, uh, from high to low. So uh, again, very, very weak markets. But all this is doing right now in this apex is all doing is doing what? It's really unwinding this overbought reading. Okay, on the momentum indicators. McClellan Oscillator basically giving us a neutral stance right now in the markets. And you can just see here, same thing with the diamonds. We're in the symmetrical triangle on a daily as well as a 60. You know, we rallied up to the 50% retracement here. Same thing goes for the transports. Uh, but the transports here uh, is really weak here, guys. The only thing that could, could be a caveat here is that FedEx is reporting uh, earnings. And if, if we are coming into, October comes into a... a a seasonal strength time of the year for the transports, which is our main leader. So if we can catch a big bid here, then uh, I would say that we, were, we, we possibly could at least challenge the highs. Now, um, I'm going to talk to you in a couple of minutes on how we're going to play this. But here's the, uh, um, the IWM. So again, same thing as you can see. Symmetrical triangles are, about, are around us here. You can see that in the queues as well. Now, Apple had a good day yesterday, but actually sold off half of its move. So um, we need to really pay attention to a lot of these key areas. Just want to show you that monthly chart of the spiders. And as you can see here, uh, we just started the month. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of time left. But if we close below this 20 month again, the second time, I'm going to uh, look for at least the test of this low again, and then a 50 month moving average, which comes in at 174.51. And that's going to be about 1750 in the ES, okay? But um, Real briefly, how I'm going to be playing this is that I'm going to be looking for some downside. Uh, any rips higher, I'm going to be looking to short into uh, and then um, looking for that retracement lower again. Okay, uh, Again, we don't know what the Fed's going to do. I'm sure they don't even know what they're going to do. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens on Thursday. I go really light for the next couple of days, guys, going into, uh, into the Fed meeting. Now, on top of that, we have quadruple witching, which is the options expiration 
uh, four instruments, which really now is three instruments. Um, they expire on Friday, and also we have the rebalancing on Friday. There's a lot going on. Now, uh, you look looking at the seasonality trends. We look at going into this week, we usually get a bullish bias, okay, going into Friday. So you usually have that weakness Monday, which we did, maybe follow through to Tuesday, and then we start to kind of base around a little bit and then rally Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Now, remember, because of the Fed coming on Thursday, that could alter any type of seasonality trend, which is normally bullish. Now, the week after, the post triple witching or quadruple witching excuse me is negative and negative in a big way so if that pullback doesn't happen this week for whatever reason i do believe that we get uh, uh, a decent pullback going into next week now remember we haven't uh, are we going to position ourselves for that no of course not we're going to wait to see how the markets react okay and that means that um, if the markets tend to rally going into friday we'll wait sunday night and see how the sunday night action in the in the globex futures uh, start to happen and we'll watch and monitor that overnight okay remember china on sunday had some horrible numbers yet again and the markets uh, reacted favorably and really kind of ignored it but then when the markets opened we just got some serious selling for the first half hour and then we just sidestepped everything and went sideways until the last five minutes where we popped up a little bit and that was just basically due to some short covering so just be careful out there guys very very confusing markets right now and we're going to take a neutral stance today and I would be looking to either buy extreme dips or sell the rips, okay? And that's how I'm going to be looking at it for today and also for tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Take care.